to the channel. Today we're going to be trying out this rust dissolving formula. This formula from Rust Oleum is proven to work, and here's my proof. You guys can see how rusty this is, and you guys can see where I used it. It's pretty strong, it works very slowly. It took about, I would say, an hour and a half for it to get like that. It's a gel, and you cannot let this dry up. Once you spray it, you wait about 30 minutes. I waited around 45 minutes. I went back, I sprayed it again, and then I went ahead and I waited a little bit longer, and then I washed the whole thing off. And that's how I ended up with this right here. So we are gonna be using that formula down here and we are gonna be using it right here. And in a different video, we're gonna go ahead and tackle all this surface rust that's in the trunk area. I believe all this surface rust is from the grinder. When I was cutting all the webbing in there, I think that it's just little shavings of metal, little tiny little particles, and they rust it up on, on the top of the surface. So what I'm thinking is that it's gonna probably wipe off as soon as I spray this solution. It is pretty cold outside, so I got the garage door completely closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some lighting to this area down here, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse. Before this time lapse starts, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am gonna be using a mask, because this stuff is pretty strong. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and spray this right here. Really quick, we're gonna do this side, we're gonna do the whole side, and we're gonna do this whole side on this one, also at the same time, so you guys can see how good this stuff works. I got my face shield on, and let's go ahead and spray this gel on here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab like a little brush and brush this whole thing. I'm only gonna brush very lightly just to get the gel all over the place. And on this one, I'm not using the grinder, the wire brush like I'm supposed to because I wanna show you guys how strong this stuff is. All right, so we're gonna let this sit here for about half an hour to 40 minutes, and then we'll spray it again. But in the meantime, let's start on this over here. flakes that were rusted on there completely off um, we're down to the bare metal in some areas we're gonna go ahead and lay some of this stuff down and then we'll come back and brush it on with that brush that I have All right, so you're gonna take this brush and just get it on there, nice and even. Just so it coats the whole thing. All 
gonna do the same thing over here. Make sure it's all over the place. And we are gonna wait a few minutes and then we'll come back and lay another coat of this stuff. It's been 30 minutes since we put the stuff on here. It still looks pretty rusty. We're gonna lay a second coat and wait it out. And it's been 45 minutes on these tools over here. You can see all the white. That means that it's working really good. So we're gonna go ahead and lay a second coat on everything and then let it sit there for another half hour. It's been around 90 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. And I can still see a little bit of rust on there. We're gonna go ahead, wash everything down and just with clean water and see what it looks like. All right, so I got some clean water in here. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this over it. I'm gonna use the brush a little bit. Getting residue off. Look at how clean this looks compared to what we started out with. I went ahead and I cleaned the whole surface with clean water and afterwards I used this stuff right here, the wax and tar remover and we are going to wait a whole hour for this whole thing to dry up according to this bottle, to this one, to the rust dissolver. I'm supposed to wait an hour and then I can lay paint down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait an hour and we'll be right back to lay some coats of paint. It's been about an hour, everything's nice and dry. We're gonna go ahead and lay some of this paint. This is the gloss leather brown. And we are gonna lay some paint down there and some paint right here. Three coats as usual. The first one to make it tacky, the second one for the color change, and the third one for the gloss. There it is, everything's completely coated. And we are gonna tackle all this other surface rust in a future video. But for now, we accomplished our goal. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe. Catch you guys later.